Welcome to 21 Knots Salesforce How To Thursdays. In today's video, we explore how to spin up a free instance with sample data. This is an instance you can use for perhaps you want to try before you buy, you're testing out reports and dashboards, or you're developing new functionality maybe, such as processes or flows, and you want to test this new functionality with sample data. The trick we'll use here is that this instance is based on an Einstein analytics instance. Why an Einstein analytics instance versus a regular demo one? Because this type of instance includes a lot of sample data. And since data gets old fast, it includes a tool that also makes the data current, meaning that opportunities, for example, are fresh with closed dates out in the future. Now, don't be mistaken, this demo org is a full Salesforce instance with all of the functionality you would expect in a paid version. The only difference is that this demo instance is a trial that will eventually expire. Are you ready to get started? Let's do this. Okay, so what we'll be doing here is two things. Uh, number one, we need to create the Einstein Analytics enabled dev org. And then once we've created that org, we need to run the Trailhead Data Manager in order to get our data up to date. And we'll get a little more in depth as to what that entails a little later in this series. So number one, requesting the Salesforce um, dev org, what we want to do here is go to this particular URL, and I'll include those in the show notes below. Fill in the info. This is your actual email address. Uh, you'll receive a verification email here. So it's important that you put an accurate email address and go ahead and fill in the rest of the information. Zip code. And over here, this can be any fake email addresses. Um, it just has to be unique in the Salesforce ecosystem. So go ahead and just type in a bogus email address here and agree to the terms and conditions here. Click on sign me up. And once we get to this screen here, uh, we need to confirm our email address. So we're going to go to our inbox. And here we go. We get an email from developer.salesforce.com. If this doesn't come right away, um, wait up to three minutes. Uh, it's, I typically get it within a minute or so, but it can take longer depending on, on the account. So go ahead and open that email. We want to verify the account. This will launch the change your password. So go ahead and type in the password you want to use for this particular instance. And answer the security question. Click on change password. and this will get you to um, your setup page. So we don't want to do this tour. So this particular instance launched in Classic. I prefer to work in Lightning. Um, I've had experiences where it launches directly into Lightning. Uh, if you do launch in Classic, go ahead and switch to Lightning Experience up here on the top right. And here we are in our instance. I'm going to allow notifications. So from here, you can explore uh, your demo environment or the demo environment you've just created. But in our case, um, I'm going to run the uh, data manager. And that, as I stated earlier, will set dates correctly. So it'll put, for instance, opportunities. It'll create them from today out into the future. In order to do so, you'll want to launch 
the app launcher here. Click on Trailhead Data Manager. Once the data manager is up, go ahead and click on the Trailhead Data Manager tab. And click on Refresh DTC Data. So this is basically pouring through the data that came with that instance and tweaks the dates accordingly. And we'll see that in a second here once it's done. This can take a couple minutes to do, so I'll just fast forward to the end result here. Okay, our sales data has been refreshed. So let's go and take a look at uh, the records here and see what type of data we have to play with. So again, App Launcher, this time I'm going, to, I'm going to click on Sales, and I'm going to be generating a couple of reports just to see the data. Obviously this instance is clean, I don't have any recent reports. I'm going to click on New Report, and I want to see what type of accounts I have in the system, in this demo instance. So I'm going to select Account, Continue. I'm going to filter, and instead of my accounts, I want to see all accounts, and create a date, all time, click apply, save and run, I'm going to give it a name, leave the rest as default, click on save. And uh, here we go. We have 1,001, just over 1,000 records, account records that we can play with. Now the key thing as well for sales data, as we all know, is opportunities. So let's go and see what type of opportunities we have in there. So it reports, new report, opportunities, We can already see I have a lot of them. I'm going to filter to display close dates, all time, apply, save and run on this guy, all opportunities, rest as default, save. And we have over 700 opportunities that we can play with. And again, the nice thing about this is uh, not only the sample data, but as we could see here, close date, if I sort in descending order, we could see that we have close dates out in the future. So bottom line, this is a great instance uh, for you to play with if you want to demo it to management or another client. You want to try out some reports uh, using sample data. Uh, you want to try some new processes or workflows or flows uh, using this data. Uh, it's a great instance to play with. Please comment below. Uh, let me know uh, what you'd like to see in future series. And uh, feel free to subscribe. We release a video like this every Thursday. Thanks for watching and have a great day.